Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Moni Beth. For those of y'all who are new here, I am a full-time reseller of women's clothing online. I sell on Poshmark, TradeZ, eBay, and Mercari. And today we have a video I haven't done in so long, but I'm so excited about. I have a thrift with me video and a thrift haul. I'm going to take you around to a few different Goodwills I went to in the Portland area. Goodwills in Portland opened a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago and I kind of staved off and waited. But now Portland's actually opening for phase one, which means that restaurants are open, bars are open, and some other businesses are open. So I thought, okay. I'm going to try out a few different Goodwills and see how it goes and wear a mask and take all the precautions that I can using hand sanitizer and so forth. Most of the Goodwills I went to weren't really that busy. There weren't that many people in there. I don't know if it was the time I went or whatever, but, but I found some good stuff and I'm really excited to show y'all what I found. I'm going to bring you along with me on the thrifting adventure now and then later on in the video I will just jump into the haul. I found some clothes, I found some shoes, I found a gown. I'm really excited to show y'all. Alright, well without further ado let's jump back in time to when I was thrifting. Okay. Hey y'all, it is a beautiful sunny day in Portland today. Um, just a great day to spend the afternoon thrifting. I am at a thrift store now. I'm going to head in and bring y'all with me and then maybe I'll have time for one or two more and then I'll do a haul and show y'all what I found. I'm listening to Robin D'Angelo's uh, White Fragility book, which I'll link down below in case you're interested, but there's also a really good hour-long YouTube video with Robin D'Angelo and she's a white woman who studies race, I think up in Seattle and especially how white people deal with race relations and um, I think it's really interesting and it's definitely taught me a lot about myself, made me realize a lot of things about myself and I think it's really important for all white people to listen to the book or watch the YouTube video or both. Um, okay, but I'm gonna head in and hopefully we find some good stuff. So I started out by going to the shoe section and I found a couple shoes that I'll show y'all later. And then I headed on to my favorite clothing category, jeans. I love selling jeans. They probably have one of the fastest sell through rates, if not the fastest sell through rate of any clothing category. And I actually like shopping for jeans too as a shopper. And then I headed over to dresses. Dresses tend to do really well this time of year during the spring summer time. And so I try to capitalize on that while I can. Once it gets colder, dresses tend to perform less well. But I found this COS, C-O-S, dress. Um, but then after realizing it was damaged, I put it back. And then I headed to the short section. Definitely a place to be looking right now. I think people are really still searching for shorts. This is a Pilcro the letterpress skirt that I probably would have picked up two or three years ago, but uh, definitely would not today. So I spent about an hour in there and only got four things. So I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna go get something to eat and then head on to the next one. Yay! Okay, heading into my next Goodwill. I actually don't know how late they're open. They kind of cut their hours because of COVID, but I might they might close in an hour, so um, I don't know how long I'm gonna have. So gotta hop to it and i might if it, they close at six i might go tomorrow morning too because i want to find some more stuff all right let's get let's get in there <music> 
New Goodwill, same categories. I am in the dresses section, and this is a older style theory, 100% silk snakeskin print dress. I put it in my cart to consider, even though it was the older tag, and you can tell it's an older tag because it's that serif font. Uh, this is a Zara top I decided to pass on, by the way. However, that theory dress, I did end up putting back after checking comps and I wasn't that surprised. Typically, almost 9.9 .9 .9 out of 10 times I'll pass on older theory. This is a Tracy Reese dress. I love Tracy Reese, uh, but it's a brand that definitely retails for a lot of money, but does not resell for a lot of money. So I did end up putting that back. And then I came across this anthropology dress, very old porridge, which is an old anthropology in-house brand. I don't even think they create or carry anything from that brand anymore, but I thought, hey, maybe because it's a novelty print, uh, it is in demand, in high demand, but I looked up comps and it was so saturated, so I ended up putting all three of those dresses back. So then I went through jeans and jackets and blazers, and I think I went through activewear and swim. I did end up finding two items on a new rack, and in case you are new to thrifting or reselling you always want to go check out the racks they roll out the new stuff that no one else has seen yet that's where real the real treasure is okay so i only spent i spent like a little less than an hour in there but i found five things and i'm pretty happy with what i found i'm excited to show y'all but i think i'm gonna go tomorrow morning and do a little bit of thrifting then and then show y'all the haul all right Yay! It's been fun. Hey y'all, so it's the next day. I am about to head into my last Goodwill. I am crossing my fingers. Hopefully we find some good stuff. I have only about 30-40 minutes, so uh, it's going to be a quick trip and hopefully I find some stuff. Alright, wish me luck. Here we go. Luckily, right when I arrived, there were two new racks fresh on the floor, so I went through those first, and I actually found a few things on them, which I'll show you later in the haul. And then I went through the denim section. Uh, the two brands I'm really looking for in this section are Good American and Madewell. I find them often enough to keep a specific eye out for them, and they perform really well on Poshmark. So. Uh, those are my two favorite bolo brands to thrift right now for jeans. Then I ended up going through the dresses section, of course, next. And I actually came across this J. Crew eyelet dress that I thought might be perfect for summer. So I wanted to check what season it was from. And luckily, J. Crew and Madewell put that with their materials tag. But it was from fall 2017, which was a little too old for me to want to pick it up. Um, and then I went through the dresses some more and eventually I came across a Susanna Monaco dress, which you'll see in a second. There it is. And that's actually a great bolo brand to know, but that style was just a little too old. But if it would have been newer, I definitely would have picked it up. That was quick, but it was really good. I think I found four items, but they're really good ones, so. Or at least two of them are really good ones, so I'm excited to show y'all. Okay, I gotta go steam them, and then the haul. Yay. Okay, now I wanna show y'all what I found. Let's start here. Ooh, I'm so excited about these. Okay, I paid up for these, y'all. They were marked up, but these are Lululemon, and they're a super rare print. And I'm gonna show you why I know they are a rare print. This is a Lululemon symbol, and it's got these circles around them, which means that it is Lululemon Seaweeds. And Seaweeds is a race that Lululemon has, I believe, every year. And during that race, they release special edition, limited edition clothes that, um, and the workout clothes that a lot of people collect. A lot of people like to have these pieces, so they're rare and worth more than your average Lululemon piece. Usually, I don't think that's always the case. So, um, when I saw this symbol on the Lululemon, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it out. I've never found seaweeds before, it's been on my bucket list 
I was so excited. So I paid up. I'm probably gonna mark them high and see how they do. They are a size 12 and they look like they're in basically never worn condition because they still have the rip tag on them and everything is just super pristine. So was so happy to find that. This is a Zara sequin crop top that's got these black and white stripes on it. I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. It is the, I don't know how to pronounce the Trafa, Trafa <laughs> I'll just call it the TRF collection, um, which is a line within Zara that I really like. Has some of their nicer pieces. And this is a size small. I like selling Zara, and especially if, I, if it's from a recent season. And I think in past videos, I've shown y'all what the other more recent Zara label looks like, and I really try to pick those pieces up, especially this piece I looked up. It is from a recent season, so super excited to try it out. Uh, this is a Anthropology Maeve top. This was, for some reason, marked down really low, so I didn't even check comps, but... Um, because I haven't been able to go thrifting, I haven't been able to incorporate very much anthropology in my closet these days, and I actually kind of miss it. And if you guys haven't watched, I will link up on the screen my anthropology video, I think from January or February, in case you haven't seen this. But this is a cute blouse. It's got this kind of like archaeological print on it. And it... Um, can be strapless or it comes with these straps because these are detachable and it's got this cute little tassel tie with this nice brass detailing on it. Super cute. It's a size 8 and I just really like this teal color so hey I thought I would try it out. It's a great piece for summer. This is a top that I've sold in black before. It is Current Elliot and it's a size 1 and Current Elliot does the similar type of sizing to Ted Baker so I think a one is actually small and this is just a ruffle uh sleeve tee super cute i didn't even look up comps for this either because it was priced pretty low and i was like you know what it's super cute uh i will go ahead and try it out here is another anthropology piece and this says made for anthropology so i knew it was from a recent season and it actually is and some people the only listings available on Poshmark that I could find are new with tags. So I think it's from a really recent season and people are trying to sell it from retail arbitrage still. So I was super excited to find this, especially since it's an extra large. And I think Anthropology extra larges do well. And it's so cute. It's just got this really, really fun ruffle detailing along the sleeve, but it's also super wearable because it's got this jersey fabric on the body. Um, I really like that top. This is a piece that I thought I would go ahead and pick up and try. It is Eileen Fisher. And I've had pretty good success with selling Eileen Fisher jackets and coats in the past. This is an older style, so um, I'm kind of taking a gamble on it. There aren't really any available, I think, in this style on Poshmark right now. It's a size medium. It's 95% merino wool, so it's high quality piece and it's a nice pea coat and it's in really good condition but it is an older style so you know we'll see how it does this was a fun little piece it's free people beach and and it's actually a romper so the bottom are just you know these shorts and then it's got a tie along here and you can wear it in a bunch of different ways like wrapping it around um, either in a halter top or you know around like in a sleeveless fashion or you can just wear these as shorts with a tie around your waist it's like a convertible romper so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up and try it Free People Beach used to be really hot um, but it's kind of cooled off definitely over my, the span of my reselling career uh, however if it's for the right price I still like to pick it up and try it out especially during the summer. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, so in my last stop, the one I went to today, this is the piece I found. It was hanging on a new rack. It was marked down so low, but it is new with tag, which is crazy. And it is made well. Texture and thread, new with tag, retails for $88. And it's this really cute dress. 
this button down dress and you know that texture and thread fabric that is like a textured knit and this is just such a perfect dress for the summer so i was so so excited and i can't believe i found it the new racks they were rolling out since i only have like 30 minutes in that store i really focused on the new racks and um, the new racks that they rolled out were great i'm happy about that 30 minutes for those pieces not too bad this is a really pretty dress from lulu's okay lulu's is a brand i was like not about um because for for a long time because lulu's was it doesn't retail for very high and you know typically i like to stick to items that sell at a higher price point right but i in portland i come across them way more often than when i was in wichita so i was like okay i'll pick a few that are new with tag up and try them out especially for the right price and what i came to realize is that though Lulu's doesn't have a super high average sales price, probably around 35 to 45 new a tag. However, maxi dresses can go for more. It does sell really consistently and it has a pretty good sell through rate. So at the right price, I'm definitely willing to pick up Lulu's, especially when it is new a tag like this one. So this is a really pretty halter dress in this beautiful, blue i think i don't know how to pronounce the name of this lace but i can uh spell it it's like g-u-i-p-u-r-e <laughs> how do you pronounce that uh gui pure let me go to look actually a pure a pure g pure get pure that is the type of lace that this is and so if you ever are searching for a style name of this type of lace is this the this like kind of crochet lace that's really gorgeous um and i personally think it's absolutely fabulous um but yeah that's how you pronounce it we pure and that's the type of lace it is but anyway um so yeah really cute i'm excited to get this listed it is a size medium and then i found two lulu's dresses floral dresses that were size extra large and i don't think i've ever found lulu's an extra large so i was super excited to try it out especially with floral dresses it being summer this is a pretty open back lulu's dress and this really pretty royal blue floral print it has a cross strap open back and a squared halter neckline really pretty i'll show y'all in case you're curious the label and then this one I thought is so perfect for a wedding, especially. I'll go ahead and show you the tag. So this top, okay, this is a good style term to know. When it has this faux wrap top like this, where it's got this deep V and they crisscross like this, it's called a surplus neckline. So um, that's also a good thing to Google if you're ever looking for a style name or something. But this is a really pretty kind of rose pinky red color. And it's got this rose floral print throughout and it's a midi length, really flattering. Um, and I think this is perfect for any kind of wedding or special event. And also I think it's a good dress that can go into the fall or spring it's not overtly summery but it can definitely be worn in the summer but because of that kind of muted pinky red it's not you know it doesn't scream one particular season and then i think the same can be said for this dress actually this is an anthropology holding horses dress this is a brand you know i'm not super bullish about but I don't know why Goodwill was marking these pretty low these days, like compared to usual. So anyway, I was like, okay, I am willing to pick up some anthropology pieces for the right price. And this is one of them. I thought it was really pretty. It's this, um, it's kind of like this muted blue that has, I don't even know if I can really show you the cool kind of texture within the fabric, but it's a midi length dress with this waist tie. It's a really versatile dress, can be worn to work, uh, can be worn virtually anywhere. So I thought I'd give it a go. Okay, this is a brand that it has a mark on the tag, so that is, couldn't help that. Dress the Population. When I first found Dress the Population last summer, it was like the first time I'd ever found it. It was right when I moved to Portland. Maybe I'll even link up that. <laughs> um, 
that haul up on the screen because it was a fun one. I found a dress, I listed it, and it sold so quickly. And then from that point on, all the dress, the population dresses I found sold really quickly. But recently, I don't know if it's COVID or what, whew, dress population has not been selling well for me. But this is a size large, and I think it's a really gorgeous lace, sequin lace dress that is great for special events. And I'm thinking once everything opens up again, people will have a lot of weddings to attend. I know I do. So hopefully things will pick back up again and people will be shopping for special event dresses. So I thought I'd go ahead and give this a go. I think it was marked half off. So I wanted to pick it up and see how it did. But again, I think maybe Dress the Population is one of those brands that's getting a little bit saturated on the reseller market. So just something to keep in mind, especially if you're gonna be paying up for any piece like that. Okay, so this dress is also midi length. It's this really pretty metallic guipure, if I'm saying that right, Google's trying to teach me, uh, metallic silver guipure lace dress. And I like it because the actual lining of the dress stops about you know about knee length but then the lace continues on until midi length with the, which i think is really pretty and this is an aster the label extra extra large so uh, yeah i wanted to try this dress i thought it was gorgeous aster the label is a brand i'm not like super bullish about or anything but certain styles that are on trend and at the right size i will definitely experiment with uh, especially for the right price. This is a brand I am bullish about though. Spanx. Who would thunk? <laughs> Spanx leggings and I'm gonna try out jeggings uh, sell really really well on the reseller platforms especially Poshmark. Go figure. Um, I think people really, really like their leggings. And so if you come across any that are in really good condition in the thrift store, I would say experiment with it. But these are a pair of distressed jeggings that are in excellent condition. They're size extra small. I think they're still being sold on Nordstrom and, and, and on the Sphinx website itself. So it's definitely a recent style. I, although I think a lot of styles in the Sphinx are kind of staple pieces that just, they maintain for a long period of time, which might have something to do with their resale value. But um, yeah, I was excited to find those and I'm gonna try them out. And then, my, and then I was on the fence about picking these up, honestly. These are current Elliott jeans. They have a mark on the label and they are size 29. I like them a lot because of this released hem. I'm a sucker for a released hem. I just think it's really cool. But these are mid-rise and they're a crop length. And like I said before in other videos, mid-rise is I'm very iffy about. Low-rise I'm definitely no, no go on. But I thought these were really good for summer. So I thought, hey, I'll try them out. Current Elliott is definitely doesn't do as well as it used to, but some styles do still do really well. So this one, you know, I'll just probably mark around $40, $50 and see how they do. Okay, and then I have one last clothing piece and then three pairs of shoes. Okay, I found this dress at my last Goodwill stop. It is Tadashi Shoji. And y'all, I don't pick, I honestly like Tadashi Shoji or Adriana Papel. I don't pick up everything I find by these brands, but this dress is stunning. Uh, the top is one shoulder neckline with this gorgeous, gorgeous lace overlay over tan or beige fabric. And then the bottom is just this really ruched um, kind of mesh fabric. It is so, so pretty. And I bet it would be so flattering on. I was just like, okay, yes, I'm definitely getting this. And they really didn't have it marked up. So again, I don't know why Goodwills are not marking their stuff up, but I am very grateful, so I'm uh, not gonna question it. Um, so anyways, and it makes me wanna go back out there and thrift some more, but okay. Now I have three pairs of shoes that I wanna show y'all. The first are these Lulu's cork sandals. 
um, and these are a size 9 which is my size but it's kind of got this blush pink um, upper and it's not suede it's a man-made upper which is fine especially if you're vegan and then it's in lightly used condition but I think these are so retro and so cute so I thought I would give them a go and Lulu shoes I mean again they don't sell for a lot of money but they do sell again pretty good sell through rate and pretty consistently so so for the right price and I think these were half off I'm willing to pick them up and then I was really trying to focus on sandals and sneakers but alas I found two boots so you know they'll probably stick around with me for a few months but that's okay um, these are some Sam Edelman booties, which I thought were really, really cool. They've got this chunky uh, sole here and this chunky heel. And so they've got kind of a tarnished suede upper with this uh, leather kind of patch on the heel. I just thought, you know, hey, this is a perfect ankle booty. Um, and Sam Edelman, I love selling. So yep, yeah, I picked these up and they are a size eight and a half. So full beans. And then my last item from the thrift haul are these Sundance booties. And they look like they've been barely worn. They have a few scratches on the toe box, but nothing really too bad at all. Um, they're a size 41, which is a 10 and a half in Sundance. That's how they convert it on Sundance.com. They have this really cool metallic threading around the shaft and then this really pretty leather on the upper and then you know cool buckle detail brass hardware and i what i thought was really cool was this brass kind of strip that goes along the heel yeah so and i like selling sundance it retails for a lot especially their shoes you know i'm probably more particular with their clothing pieces but their shoes to have done I think I've only picked up one pair of Sundance shoes and it did really well for me. So I thought I'd give these a go and um, see how they did. All right, y'all, well, that is everything in this thrift haul. I had so much fun making this video. I hope you had fun watching. If you guys like this type of video, let me know in the comments down below. Tell Matt, hey, we like thrift hauls and thrift with me is because he's kind of the master planner of YouTube and he reads every single comment so um let us know and also let me know because i read the comments too what your favorite piece from the thrift haul was if you could source one item what would you source and then let me know which one you probably would have left behind most of y'all don't answer those types of questions <laughs> but i think it's fun to hear your opinion but yeah thanks so much for watching y'all and i will see y'all in the next one okay love you bye Y'all, if you haven't already, hit that little subscribe button. Most of y'all watching aren't subscribing, but it makes the world a difference to us. And give us a thumbs up on this video. And if you like this video, hey, check out these other ones that we've done in the past. Thanks. Hope y'all have a great day.